excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? Can be the Sexy Ninja here in the place to be for C Plus Studios and a Paper Saber Universe. Let's just dive right on in. Dynamite. R.I.P. Jerry Jarrett, Jeff's dad. Um, that's how they start the show off. You know, rest in peace. You know, it's, I know it's probably really hard losing a father. Um, just much love. Even though I, I'm not a big fan of Jeff Jarrett currently of this stuff. You know, I, I, I am still human and I have some sympathy. But he still came out and wrestled. Like, the show goes on, as we always say in professional wrestling. But R.I.P. Jerry Jarrett. All right, we are in Loretto, Texas. Excalibur, Taz, Tony Schiavone on commentary. We started off with the banger eight-man tag team match. Orange Cassidy, the acclaimed with Daddy Ass versus Jeff Jarrett, Jay Lethal, uh, Singh, and uh, Dut, Dut, I call him the Dut. You know, um, Orange Cassidy, the acclaimed, and Daddy Ass wins. Um... Dan Hazen was out there. This was a fun match, man. This this show was packed f- to the gills, <laughs> you know. And it's it's a week where Elimination Chamber is coming up. And I've always noticed when there's a WWE pay per view on the horizon, like they they stack the shows during the week. And God bless you, Tony, for that because I I'm here to watch and be entertained and get some pro wrestling in my life. Brian Danielson package, uh, he was talking about uh, him and MJF at Revolution March 5th. And I am so excited about that because I, real- I I was like, oh man, another pay-per-view that I have to watch the next day because it's on a Saturday. But it's not, it's on a Sunday. So I was like, oh, the tides have changed. The tides have changed. Um but uh, uh, he's talking about he's going to take on MJF. He's going to expose MJF. He's going to he's going to rip him apart and stuff like that. And um, I, I really liked it, man. The boogeyman he called himself, and I was like, little John Wick there. I like that. I like that. Uh, we had a Texas Tornado tag team match. Oh, beforehand I forgot in the Jeff Jarrett match, uh, the guns come out, you know, and they claim the they you know, showing off and stuff like that. So a lot of stuff going on there. That's going to be at Revolution and uh basically a fatal four-way tag team match for the tag team titles, uh, which the acclaimed is going to be part of, plus the guns and two others who win these bat- tag team battle royals here in the next couple weeks. So we're building. We're building the revolution, baby. Building. Texas Tornado tag team match. Now John Moxley, Gladio versus Rish and Preston Vance. Um, John Moxley, Claudio for the win. Uh, Preston got Busted open. John got busted open. It was a bloody good time. Uh, but we'll see Moxley and Claudio again. We had Kip attacking Hangman Page with Bladed Butcher in the back. Uh, beating down Hangman because they had a little bit of an altercation on Rampage last week. Uh, you know, and this is why I'm really glad I finally got Rampage into the cycle of the New World podcast. So I can be like, because if I didn't watch, I'd be like, why is Kip attacking Hangman? <laughs> <laughs> but now I know, I know, and knowing's half the battle in this in this profession, folks. Jr. interview with Wardlow talked about his Wardlow talked about his dad and well, the reason why he grew his hair out and how Joe took that away. It's personal now between Joe and Wardlow, and they're going to meet each other for the championship. Uh, the TBS, right? TBS? No, not TBS. TNT. Some, some championship. I, I get the TBS and TNT. I think TNT. TNT championship. At Revolution, it's going to be Wardlow versus Joe. Uh, Mark Briscoe versus Josh Woods. And big news coming out. Uh, Mark Briscoe is now All Elite. Welcome, Mark. I am glad he's on the roster. I am sad, though, that it took this long to bring him onto the roster with certain events that happened. Uh, We still miss Jay. Mark, a great addition to the roster. So we should, we shall see where we go from there. He gets the win. Adam Cole, Renee, and Adam Cole's talking about he's back. You know, he's he's just waiting. You know, he he's had, went through a lot of struggles, but I can't wait to see Adam Cole get back in that ring and see who he's gonna tie tie it up with, man. So uh, we have MJF. Yes, uh, we. You know, I I. People were getting taunted by him as he was coming out to the ring. He took 
he gave so, threw his gum at someone's head. He threw someone's drink at somebody. Ripped, you know. And I'm just like, we just want to be tormented by him, don't we? You know, I'd be like, I would love MJ have to throw my my drink in my face. I would fucking love that. I don't know why, you know. But I was like, yes, just throw it in my face. <laughs> but cuts his promo, does the MJF. The crowd is saying, shut the fuck up. All this other stuff. But he says he knows somebody that knows Brian Danielson, and that's Christopher Daniels. Brings him out, says, look here, tell him about Christopher Daniels, how much of a fake he is, blah, 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 blah. Christopher Daniels reveals that MJF gave him a load of money, and he says, if I was the man I was back then, I would take this money and just go to town about Brian Danielson being awful, but I'm not that man today. So he tells um, MJF that he's going to knock your dick in the dirt. Second time I've heard this in the past few weeks with MJF and every, not MJF. They mentioned on Commodore, like, ooh, it's a little sussy, 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 sussy. And I was like, not really. I go, didn't Hangman say this to um, Moxley? You know, uh, we have a uh, then uh, after that, Christopher Daniels gets kicked in the balls by MJF and he starts to beat down. Here comes Brian Danielson. MJF runs away because he's a chicken shit heel. It, it's just we're just building this feud. We're building this feud to revolution. And that one man, one 60 minute Iron Man match. Can't wait. Guns, they had a guns package for revolution. Talking about the title is going to be on the line. Uh, the acclaimed. Uh, interrupts Renee when she's announcing the tag team battle royale that's going to have in the next couple weeks. We're going to determine in this fatal four way tag team match who's going to, um, who's all going to be in it. The acclaim says we want, we have our rematch clause, so we're in that match now. We're just waiting for two other teams to join that four, fatal four way. Uh, Jungle Boy or Jack Perry, whatever your choice is. I like calling him Jungle Boy because I'm used to calling him Jungle Boy versus Brian Cage. Jungle Boy for the win. He's he's on his road to claim some title around his waist. Which title? We don't know. We don't know. Um, Christian Cage comes back, pepper sprays Jungle Boy, um, and then lays him lays him the waist. So I think we're gonna get that at Revolution. Jungle Boy versus Christian Cage. The Elite backstage are talking about uh, Rampage Slam Dunk because uh, Rampage is gonna be on a special time because the, the NBA has their big thing this weekend. Um, but uh, top flight AR Fox comes. They interrupt them, and we get a rematch this Friday on Rampage. So, and then a great shut up Brandon <laughs> part, and they threw the uh, ball right at his balls, and uh, <laughs> they said right in the nards. <laughs> Hangman Adam Page did come out, does come out versus Kip Sabian. Uh, Hangman Adam Page for the win. But th- this match was this match was good. But we had more to it than that. We had the com- uh, the Combat Club to you know c- come out, the Blackpool Combat Club. I put Combat Combat Club. Why did I put Com? I don't know. I don't know. That's where my brain works. Um, they come out. Mox is on the things talking smack. Dark Order comes out. You know, Dar- Dark Uno says his thing, and then it sets up a match between Moxie and him next week. But. The, the payoff for this is Hangman Adam Page versus John Moxley at Revolution and a Texas Death Match. Oh, and the way Moxley plays it off, though, he goes, Texas Death. And he's like, we're in a Texas Death commentary. He's like, I, I, I think he means a Texas Death Match, you know, not just Texas Death. So <laughs> uh, Tony Schiavone backstage. With the Jericho Appreciation Society, we get Ricky Starks versus Garcia this uh, Friday on Rampage. Um, Jericho says, you will never face me, but I I think we're building to that for a revolution. We're going to get Ricky Starks versus Chris Jericho at Revolution, you know, just so we can build that card. Build that card. Main event time. I'm confused as fuck. Ruby Soho versus Tony Storm versus Britt Baker with Saray out there. Hater out there. Uh, it, this match is okay. You know, the, these women are trying to give it their all. Ruby Soho for the win because Saraya comes in, to, to, uh, you know, and like the the L. The L thing is stupid. Using the spray paint to put the L like your NWO, but it's an L for Luther, the healers. I, it's, it's dumb. It's really dumb to me. Like, uh, Saraya sprays a... Uh, Tony Storm's butt just so she can get um, Britt Baker right in the face with it. and But still, Ruby Soho for the win. Then everyone's out. And then, uh, like, it's um, Hater, Ruby, Soraya. Soraya's pointing at the revolution sign. Uh, Hater's yelling. Ruby Soho's like, oh, what's going on? No, no, no. Ah. You know, so 
more confusing <laughs> to the storyline added. Like, is it's been like this for a couple of weeks. Is Ruby going to join Soraya or is Ruby going to join Britt Baker's little, you know, crew? Like, what's going on? And I, it was a fun match, but still confusing as fuck. <laughs> I was like, okay, I, she torn. She doesn't know who she wants to join, but we've had these little segments where I'm just like, I don't, I don't understand storyline, story-wise of what we're doing here. Especially with Ruby. Is she going after Jamie Hayter for the title? Or is it going to be a triple threat match for the title? We shall see. <laughs> so that's it. That's all. I give this show a solid 4 out of 5. Um, I had a good time. Uh, from top to bottom. You started off with that 8 man tag team match. All the way to the the triple threat match at the end. But like I said. The confusing of what's going on. Ruby and them. And uh, Soraya. And her screaming. My house. Loser. So, tell me what you thought of the show. Drop those comments below. Then after that, you're going to like and subscribe. You're going to share out your grandma. Share out your grandpa. Share with the bum down at Walmart. I am KMB, the Sexy Ninja. And remember, the New World Podcast is for life, brother. Oh, now, yeah. You see the true colors of MJF. I'm the best in the world. I don't think you are. I don't think you are, son of a bitch. I don't think you are. I don't think you're going to get a chance to prove it either. I don't think you're going to get a chance to prove it either.